Hi, my name is Oscar Mendadis and in this video I'm going to tell you how to artificially inseminate a sow. But first I want to tell you why artificial insemination is widely used in the swine industry. Artificial insemination has many advantages. One advantage for artificial inseminating is the limit the number of boars that you have in your facility. Boars can be real aggressive and can cause a lot of damage to your facility. Also, it just limits the amount of feed you have to give to a boar. A second advantage of using artificial insemination is the ability to use a boar with great genetics and having him have more offsprings than he would be able to when if he's naturally breeded. Also, another big advantage in using AI is being able to inseminate all your cells at the same time and also have them farrow closely at the same time. This lowers your labor costs and also start, helps you start a reproductive cycle. With this being said, I'm, gonna, I'm going to describe you the process of artificial inseminating a cell. First step in AIing a cell. First, you need to detect if the cell is in estrus. You can check if a cell is in estrus by having a bore inside, as shown in this picture, letting him to give off his order and giving sight to the cells. When the boar passes or goes to the cell, if the cell plants its feet and stands still, waiting for the boar to mount, then that shows sign of estrus, also in heat. And if you don't have a boar in your facility, you can check if a cell is in estrus by putting your weight on the back of the cell as shown as in this picture and she will do the same and not move and stand still to wait to be mounted. With this being said, you want to make sure you have the proper AI equipment that is used in the cell. There are many different types of catheters that are now used in cells. You have the old shaped corkscrew or the new modern day ones. You can use any ones, you just, it's choice of preference. As for the semen, you want to make sure you thaw out the semen slowly and make sure it's fully thawed before you even check if the cell is in estrus. There are many AI techniques that can be used to AI a cell. One, you can sit on the back of the cell while you insert the rod or you could place a holder like shown in this picture that hugs the cell and gives pressure on the back as if she was mounted. The need of giving pressure on the cell is important because when the cell feels the pressure, it not only stands still, but it also contracts the uterus. The uterus contracting aids the semen into moving and gets them closer to the final destination, which is the egg. Before you insert the rod, you want to make sure that you lubricate the rod well and so it will not hurt the cell. If you're using a coarse screw catheter, you want to make sure while you insert the rod, you, won't, you are twisting it as if it was a screw. Also, you want it at an upward angle to avoid the bladder. After about 10 inches, you want to see if you have entered the cervix. You can check if you entered the cervix by giving it a little tug, and if it does not pull out with little force, then you are in the cervix. Now you can remove the tip of the semen pouch or the bottle and insert it into the end of the rod and apply gentle pressure to the pouch. The semen will begin to flow into the cell and also patience is a key. Do not force the semen into the cell. And if the artificial inseminating was a success, you will have piglets on the ground in a few months. And in summary, the process of artificial insemination is an important technology for the swine industry. With the proper technique, AI can improve the herd of your hogs and make your reproduction program more efficient. Also, it could help your farm save money as well as make money.